Well, broadcasting live for the shed on a storm fucking Barbara or whatever the fuck it is. We made it outside. Come down to the shed because big priority is we've got a skid day next Sunday up at the NADC. Like, for those of you that didn't again, Northeast Drift Club uh, are holding a competition next weekend, double weekender. Uh, Saturday, Sunday jobby. Um, so we're getting the car ready for the Sunday for the fun day and uh, just a test it, see how it goes. This will be the first time we've had the car out since putting the 3UZ in, so here's hoping that it goes well. So I'm going to come and mark a couple of revisions of things we've done um, and I'll just show you along the way. First things first. We used a 320 diesel gear linkage and uh, Corey Minette was kindly sold me a part off of his 330D which is going to be a better linkage situation for the bigger donut. I'll show you the comparison of the two afterwards but that's one of the jobs on the list. Um, I've got a cladding suit on because it's uh, absolutely Baltic in here and there's no point in firing up the space heater just for myself. So, that's about just this. Sorry about the back, background noise. It's uh, rattling rain and wind and fucking bits of fucking tree and a handful of doing like so. Back there, I'll uh, keep you updated as we go along. Probably hadn't done a video for a while, but we did a, a different. Uh, exhaust system so we found out that had a hole in it and the baffles have been cut out and I bought a universal Y piece excuse the words it was a stick not the pressure with the cock you've got but I got a universal Y piece and then used this middle silencer off of uh, an RX-8 with a bit of rebar for a hanger what is it? there we go Easy days. Right, here we are. Second fucking, uh, for you, for you call it, revision. So we had this welder of four. It wasn't just the strongest. There was no much heat through it, so I just run the stick across it. It's not the bonniest, but it definitely had penetration, that's for sure. Fine strong, hopefully, when I go there. Also, as I spoke about previously, the difference in these rods is absolutely astronomical. The bend that goes over the big donut. Two seconds. So that's the 320D one. And that's the 330D. So you can see the little lip goes over the top. I did the bit of welding again because it was uh, just a bit too long for what we needed so made it much in such a same size jobs are good here. just the odd jobbies here in our way get ready for next Sunday come on sing along excuse my pecking like an all sue but uh, I've been plowing on After cutting up this to mark a 320D work, we welded on a new bolt in the base of the shifter and everything clears. I'll show you underneath. So for anybody doing a 3UZ swap to an E46 with an E39 530D box, you need an E46 330D linkage. Um, a 320D front half prop with an oh an E39 gearbox thingy because the E46 330D um, prop shaft doesn't work because it's a different fitting at the end on the diff and different fitting here. So happy diddlies. 
fairly chuffed with how it's going on. Now just to get the exhaust back on and uh, send it. The big fat skid. Yo! And then I, then I come to me about that uh, unbalanced prop shaft. We like washing machine skids. Yo! So I got here last night and I was editing up the video for last night and uh, I realised that it was only like 5 minutes and 30 of a video. So to conclude the video for last night, we got everything big it up in the car, um, gear linkage done, prop shaft re welded just so there's no chance of it bracking, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, then got the exhaust back on, so everything's kind of tickety boo to go for a skid day next Sunday. Um, when we lower the car down, we think the rear's needing lowered ever so slightly and the front's needing raised ever so slightly, but I think we're just going to let it rub and uh, make its own space because it looks good the way it's sitting. Um, yeah, so everything's ready to go. Check aisles and waters next week. Get it on the trailer and uh, send it up to uh, Boindy and go for a skid day. I noticed the video was very short, so basically, come up to the shed today to help my dad out. Um, he bought a trailer, I can't remember if I said in previous videos, but a trailer. Um, axles needed a bit of repairing, backing plates were rotten, bottoms of the axles were rotten, so. We channeled it over the top of them, welded them up, put a cap over the top of it, and welded a couple of long seams, and uh, we're going to get them shot blasted and file the seams and paint them. Hopefully that uh, prolongs the life of them just a wee bit longer, and uh, it'll be sound. Um, here's a couple of clips of uh, the work we carried out today, uh, the work we covered, carried out previously and uh, well there's no video clips of the work carried out previously because it was a bit unorganised with that. So I hope I'll be safe in this weather and uh, they're getting bland after their feet are washed out things in their eye like a lovely Friday. Eh? Hitler. Hitler. You hate him for the noise. You hate him for the noise. Peek-a-boo. <laughs> 